I want everybody to think back to a moment when you thought to yourself, wow, this sounds really good. I really like listening to this. What were you listening to at the time? Was it a song, sounds of the world around you, or maybe just someone talking? Now, to expand on that question, did any of those answers come from a video game? Maybe you were, I don't know, knee deep in the machine of war, maybe watching a favorite character delivering a, a rousing speech or giving their final words, or maybe just simply walking along, enjoying the experience, the atmosphere, and the environment. All these games, all of these experiences, they share the same gift and they share the same vice. What you hear is just as important, if not more important, as what you see. And I wanna go some, over some of those. The beautiful world of sound design in games. The sounds that make us happy, sounds that make us sad, and the sounds that make us want to launch our PC out of the window at the rate of a meteor. <laughs> right, but first, what makes all this so special? Isn't game sound just as the same as a sound in, say, a movie like design, foley, editing, all that jazz? Well, yes, and also no. Yes, in that the actual processing might be similar or in some cases identical, you have to consider one factor, the audience and the presentation. Some games nowadays, for better or for worse, play out more like interactive movies, with many games being labelled as such and derided by many for it. The key word being interactive movies. Games have to approach the way they edit their sound so much differently because they have to factor in one key point, player agency, such as did X character hit Y object, if so how hard, what with, it's like a card castle, if one piece is missing, whole thing simply crumbles, doesn't it? And what happens if the whole thing crumbles? Well, you get, you get games like... Oh, yes, I know this game gets dogpiled enough as it deservedly deserves, what deservedly deserves, brilliant one. But there is just so much more to dissect when it comes to just how much of an abject failure this game is. But one thing I rarely see getting picked up on is just how awful this game sounds. You know, this game's a mod of Half-Life, so the pieces are already there and they're working just fine, you know, until the devs credit. There's little changes here and there, which I can respect. But at the same time, there's other changes that are made that I just want to, you know, I want to go have a, a nice, calm, collected chat with them about. Without any cameras or witnesses. I mean, just have a look here. You can clearly see a tiled hallway and based on just, just how goddamn bright it is, Jesus Christ. You can clearly tell there's going to be a bit of echo in there, you know, because, you know, soundproofing on tiles isn't going to be the best. I mean, I want... I wonder how they incorporate it into the game. You won't move. They set up claymores. So looks like all of them are connected to each other. Maybe if you follow the cables, you can shoot down the main switch. Yeah. Also, something that was a lot more vocally criticised, uh, let's see what I did there, with a lot of good reason, was the voice acting, because I'm not even going to pull any punches. It's terrible. Like, just, just listen. You should open your mouth and start talking. The aliens are coming. We've been compromised. Spit it out, Corporal. Oh, Colonel. We are so fucked. Let's move on before, I, before I, I break something. Right, moving on from one abomination made in the Source engine to another one, but with hats. Team Fortress 2 is a game I have a very personal and at times contentious relationship with. I mean, on one hand, it's far and away my favorite shooter game of all time and one of my favorite games of all time, period. And on the other, sometimes playing it in the modern day just makes me want to scream very loudly because there's so many aimbots and so Valve, fix the game, please. But aside from that, Team Fortress 2 is one of the shiny examples of if it ain't broke, don't fix it in one key area. No, it's not the weapon balancing. No, it's not the map design. It's not the community workshop because that's gone downhill in recent years. No, it's the sound design because that's the, the topic of this video. I mean, who could have seen that coming but if you really think about it tf2 is 15 years old now and it sounded the same all those 15 years i mean think about it the revving of heavy's minigun is the same the ever infuriating blast of snipers sniper 
Huh. That's been the same as well. Medic Supercharge is the same. TF2 stands as one of the best examples of how to do sound design right and how to keep the in-game sound design, like the bullet sounds, the clunking of footsteps, to the, the horrors of war, <laughs> to the score, to the... I am so, so sorry about that and I will promise I will never do it again. I'm just kidding, I'm absolutely going to do it again. <laughs> but yes, Metal Gear Rising stands, in my honest opinion, opinion warnings from here on out, you've been warned, it stands head and shoulders above so many other games with a masterclass in music. And I'm talking strictly the music here, like the boss themes. Especially the boss theme. Because if you've seen a certain other video of mine, not a shameless plug at all, go watch it now or I'll burn down your house, then you'll know I feel very, very strongly again. And in the words of Mike Wazowski, Let's watch my favorite part again, shall we? <laughs> But again, I made a whole other video gushing about Metal Gear Rising, so I won't burden you with details or more memes. <laughs> so who's ready for some emotional whiplash? Remember when I said that Metal Gear Rising stands above so many other games? Yeah, well, meet the exception. Red Dead Redemption 2 is quite simply put, a masterpiece, not just in music, not just in sound design, but overall, absolutely one of the greatest games ever made. There is no contest, there is no replacement. Red Dead 2 is a masterpiece. And in my humble opinion, home to one of, if not the most beautifully constructed, masterfully composed, lyrically genius scenes in all of gaming. Just take a look or a listen for yourself. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I, ha I had to put a joke about the house building theme in there. It's Red Dead Redemption 2. I love the house building theme so much. I'm not sorry at all. Okay, 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 okay. I'm only partially joking, partially. The house building theme is one of my favorite songs in all of gaming. I'm not even gonna dispute it, it's a banger. But if we're looking for emotional gut punches that hit harder than Jetstream Sam after fully charging his attack, I had to make a Metal Gear Rising joke in there somewhere. But you get to, you're welcome. Yes, there will be spoilers from here on out. Watch and listen at your own discretion. Three, two, one. Well, let me have a it's unshaken. unshaken. And cruel world. Cruel, cruel world must I go home. And red. <laughs> I'm going to where the sun burns. And the tavern scene with Lenny. Oh my god, I can't decide. Why is this game so unbelievably good? Rockstar, why are you making me choose the- ah Yeah, trying to pick an objectively best song in this entire game is impossible. It's impossible. All of them are just amazing. And it's not just the songs themselves. The sound design is honestly impeccable. It's so seamless. It's so well fleshed out. It instantly just brings you into the world. And every single step you take is just a treat on your ears. The audio designer impeccably fits 
the setting, as weird as that sounds, I mean, all the little noises from the UI and the HUD fit the old 1890s Old West vibe. Yee-haw, fella, we're gonna rustle some cattle and get caught up in our taxes. You know, that type of thing. Maybe not that last part, but still. And that's not even scratching the surface of how utterly masterful th this game is in every single way. But I don't have three hours to go over why Red Dead 2 is amazing. So we're gonna move on. But the house building theme will always be the ghost. I know you won't be able to change my mind. Okay, so some, some closing thoughts. Okay, so managed to gush about Metal Gear Rising, cry about Red Dead Redemption 2, and dance to the house building theme shamelessly. <laughs> Managed to ra rave about Team Fortress 2 and how brilliant it is and how Valve needs to fix the game. But one thing I think needs to be taken away from this is sound design in gaming is completely overlooked by, by most people. And it's genuinely a damn shame because so many games sound amazing as well as looking amazing. But I don't, want, I don't get it. Why people just look at these games and that's all they do. They look. They don't listen. People need to appreciate what they hear as much as what they see. And games like those, not Hunt Down the Freeman, nobody should ever play Hunt Down the Freeman. Don't play Hunt Down the Freeman unless you enjoy torturing yourself. Just, just open your ears, man. That's all I ask. Thank you for watching. And I'm not sorry about the Metal Gear Rising memes. I will never be sorry about the Metal Gear Rising memes. There will be bloodshed!